Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And this is the episode you guys have been waiting for. So let's hop into it right away. No playing around. So here are all the created recruits. Remember, you guys put your uh, profiles in. You guys had unique backstories. I like to choose the guys who had a unique backstory that also kind of went with the needs on my team. So let's just look at our needs really quick. So if you look at all of our positions, we don't have a fullback. So I do have a fullback on this board. You see the rating at quarterback is D+. Plus. I have a couple quarterbacks on there. Receiver, not too many receivers were created, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, also, tight end is a position that we need as well, but the offensive line, definitely a position that we need. Nobody is above a D plus on our offensive line. Look at that. I mean, that is just horrible. If you look at our defense, I mean, defensive tackle is a need because we do have three seniors graduating. We do need some defensive end help. We don't know if our freshmen are going to pan out. We just don't know. Outside linebacker as well. We don't know how these guys are going to do because we have LaRue Wiley out there. We don't know if he's going to look good. And plus, he's got another year of eligibility after this season. We obviously want to get better in the secondary. We don't have a true lockdown corner. If you want to say Josh Dunbar is, I would say, yeah, he's our best corner. But by no means is he just straight up locked down. I mean, he doesn't he, – he led our team, almost led our team in picks. But, I mean, he's not truly, truly locked down. But definitely somebody we're going to be looking to keep in our program. So let's hop into these recruits. So starting off, the number one recruit in the whole nation – he is the number one center out of Miami, Florida. Remember I said that I wanted to play FAU because I needed to get them, take some of the recruits away. Well, this is one of the guys we're going to try to take away from these Florida schools. But look, he wants to go to Nebraska right away. Why Nebraska? So if you look at him, man, let's just look at him. He's the number one prospect in the country. Let's unlock his ratings. So he ends up being a 75 overall. He came in as an 80 overall, ends up going down to a 75, minus 5 overall. So maybe this is a guy that we can look to steal, but he is the number one recruit. He's going to be hard to go after. Derek Kelly is the next one. He's going to come out of Braintree, Massachusetts, but he's looking to come to our school right away. He is the number five center. Let's actually unlock his ratings, see where he ends up. So he's a 67 overall. So that is devastating because we thought he would be a top recruit and he ends up being a 67, which, you know, if you put him on our team right now, I mean, that's kind of one of the best linemen, but still, it looks like he's a bust. So maybe we can get him for the cheap. We won't have to put as many points as in, into him each week. Raphael Wheeler out of Chicago, Illinois, the number four tackle. He's a four-star prospect, 6'8", 288. Let's just see what his ratings are looking like. So he's going to be a 70 overall. He can pass block, 87 pass blocking, but we're not on his top schools. So we definitely are going to have our work cut out for us here. A guard, 6'1", 254, Dustin Town out of La Follette, Tennessee. Let's just uh, unlock his ratings really quick. So 71, not bad, but we're not on his top schools. Will Blank, a guy that we really, really want to go after here. He is a proto typical middle linebacker he's coming from baltimore maryland 6'2 250 the number six middle linebacker in the nation he's a four-star prospect let's unlock his ready to see what he is he's 79 so this might be a guy that we will look to get i'm gonna move him up right now because look at him he is 84 pursuit 80 tackle 81 hit power a sure chat tackler for sure 76 play recognition right out the jump so let's move on. We do need a quarterback. Remember, we did not keep Sully on the team. Remember, we let him walk. And if you don't want to play for us, then you don't have to play for us. So Caden Joseph, Gainesville, Georgia, the number four quarterback in the nation. He's looking to go to Georgia Tech. So we definitely need to get him away from these option schools. Let's see what his ratings are like. Ooh. So he is a 75 overall. He's 86 throw accuracy, 76 throw power, which is pretty low. 
but I mean that 86 accuracy is definitely going to help but he's only 5'11 so he's a shorter guy moving down the line Brian Rodriguez 6'7 277 he is a one star prospect though but look at what happened I unlocked his ratings and he went up to a 74 he is a true gem look at this man 13 overall improvement he is a one star prospect nobody is gonna go after him because he's probably a hidden gem but look at who's going after him houston houston's gonna go after him so let's move him up and we gotta pry him away from houston can't let houston get him red johnson the next one middle linebacker number 38 in the nation at his position so let's look at him he's 72 overall so we're getting a good crop of uh recruits here right off the jump but if you look at him he's 72 overall but let's look at the top schools we're not on his either and look who he's trying to go to our rival virginia so we gotta get him away from our rival next Braden newton we do need some cornerbacks out of russellville alabama six foot 180 let's unlock his attributes so he's decent 71 overall 86 man which is pretty good 72 tackling which is all right moving down the line justin johnson we do need another tight end because ben miller he does get winded quite a bit let's look at him so he actually goes down to a 68 overall so 79 catching 79 route running so what brings him down looks like is his pass blocking and run blocking he's not very good at it as a blocker he looks like he's pretty athletic though 79 catching is pretty good especially for an incoming freshman at tight end joseph buxton we do need a safety because remember we do have a transfer at the safety position but he's just gonna be here uh for two years but look at him he goes up as well but look we're not on his top schools as well but he's looking to go to some smaller schools akron army i mean i think we can compete with those schools so keep moving down the line graham hit stick it looks like He's from Houston, Texas as well. These guys from Texas are going to be hard to recruit because we're going up against a lot of big schools in Texas. And he is a five-star number three outside linebacker in the nation. Let's see what he is. He's a 75 overall as well. He doesn't have the speed, but look at that. His name is Hit Stick for a reason. 91 hit power. He is going to be bringing the hitters for sure. Moving down the line, John Wilcox, another Texas quarterback number 49 in the nation from austin texas let's see where he ends up so he's 72 overall so we're actually finding a good crop of quarterbacks here and it looks like he grades out to be a pretty good prospect so i'm gonna keep him where he's at delfrey olage jr another cornerback out of pompano beach florida and let's just see where he ends up he's 66 overall to start he goes up one overall to 67 not bad a guy that comes in kind of raw he has good play recognition but his his cover skills definitely got to improve so we'll keep him on the board but i mean these guys none of them want to come to our school right out the right out the gate so we're definitely going to have a lot of competing to do so let's move on roheem shaw so this is another cornerback this time out of Fresno, California. So we're finally getting out to California, the number 138 cornerback. So maybe he's a gem that we can find. And look, he's got man coverage, 85, but only 68 zone. That's definitely got to improve. Let's move down the line. Arnold Kennedy, We told I told you we needed a fullback, but he's out of Canada. We have quite a bit of Canada uh, recruits from last year to this year. And he's a number 22 fullback, but playing time. Look at that, A+. Plus, so hopefully we get some points with that. Bowie Thong. I mean, this guy is a receiver out of Chicago, Illinois. 6'1. What is rank is he? He's 93 receiver. So these guys are all flown under the radar. He comes in at 91 speed, which we do need some speed at the receiver position still because Chad Ball isn't going to be on the field as well. He's going to be graduating. Tyler Haas. It looks like he's from St. Louis, Missouri. A number the number 130 receiver. So all these receivers are floating under the radar. He's 68 overall. Steven Ramsey, 6'5 out of Olympia, Washington, the number 94 receiver in the nation. We don't have enough points to scout him, but you can see what he's graded out to be. 68 overall. Austin Lehman, another Florida recruit. 5'11", 187, number 42 free safety. So we definitely need some safeties because we need some people to re to uh, definitely compete in our secondary. You never know. Some of these safeties might grade out to be cornerbacks. Darren Colt, 
a 60 overall. He's kind of lower overall to start. He's out of Chicago, Illinois, the number 177 cornerback. So maybe that's a guy that we can discover. Maybe he's better than what we think. Amonro Watkins out of New York, New York, 6'4", 196. He's a beast. I mean, if he's 6'4", 196, he might be similar to Jamel Cooley. We'll have to see. Cole Kugler, he's another guy out of Oklahoma. We have to compete with these teams in the conference. It's going to be tough. Oklahoma, I mean, we're in the Oklahoma division, and we're going after an Oklahoma player. It's going to be tough to pry him away from those two schools, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Sebastian Miller, a quarterback, a pocket passer, number six, uh, number 96 quarterback in the nation. It looks like he doesn't really look like he can throw the ball that well. He's 6'1", 210. But we'll have to unlock his ratings later. And then to round out the two uh, last two guys on our recruiting board, we need some Wisconsin recruits. Stevens Point, 5'9", 180, Jay Woodard. He's going to be coming in. It looks like he doesn't really do anything too well. Maybe if we scout his ratings, they'll come out better. And to finish it off, John Tremblay, number 34 quarterback out of Florida. We do need some Florida recruits. We need to recruit him. We did unlock his ratings, though. But look at him. He's got some good throw power, 87, but he comes in at 69 overall. I'm surprised. So he must have low awareness because his throwing attributes are pretty good to start out. But this is going to be our recruiting board, man. I mean, we have some pretty good recruits on this board hopefully we can get a lot of them but i mean the chances are we're not gonna get a lot of these guys like the number one center in the nation i don't know if we we actually can compete and then the number six middle linebacker will blank he's definitely up there but i don't know if we'll compete with him as well brian rodriguez i have a lot of confidence in because he looks like he's flown under the radar number 148 tackle and he comes up to 74 overall and then Derek Kelly is another guy. He's first on our, on, we're first, first on his board, so maybe he's a guy that we can go after. But all the rest of these guys, look, we're not on any of these guys' boards. So the chances of us getting these guys is going to be slim. And I'm making a rule, man, in recruiting because you can kind of cheat on this game because there's a lot of guys that the computer do, does not go after because you can see their lock percentages are low. So I'm only going to add recruits to the board halfway through the season. So only once, only once during the season, I'm going to change the recruiting board. I'll change the recruiting board all around, but I won't add new prospects to the board only halfway through the season we'll have a scouting update from t from t and j so he'll get on he's gonna be sent out to scout these new guys so let's hop into the season preview of this third season who's gonna be the newcomers who's gonna make an impact let's just check it out starting this defensive new front i mean this is gonna be interesting because todd williams Hunter Greggs and Javon Pennington are going to be in a triangle of rotational pieces. Todd Williams, he's a huge guy, 6'8", 247. And what makes him different than the other two is that he can stuff the run. He's got the highest power moves, 82 out of all three of them. And he's a big guy. So he I hope that he can stuff the run, especially in this new conference. We're going to need some defense from him for sure. And Pennington is going to need to play a big role as well. But Todd Williams, big number 95. Let's just look at Hunter Greggs. So he's six foot 240. He's the most finesse of all three and it's for a good reason he's got 71 speed 73 excel but he's got 87 finesse moves so he's gonna be getting after the quarterback he's gonna have those pass rusher moves and you know what he's gonna get geared up here so on the field he's a game changer i i can't lie he's gonna be a game changer because if he can change the game the way ali christian did remember in that bowl game ali christian had that big sack where he got cut blocked, got back up and got the sack late in the game. That's what Hunter Gregg's. I'm going to be looking for him to make plays like that. So he's going to have a big impact on that D line going forward. So Dylan Mack is a guy that I am a little bit concerned about. So he is a freshman coming in. But he is transitioning to a new position. He started out as an end coming in as a recruit, but now he's playing right outside linebacker. So he's going to have a little bit more responsibility than he initially thought. He does have a little bit of a slow time getting to his top speed, 68 acceleration, 82 speed, but he can actually 
get after the ball. I mean, he can just get after it. He's a smart player. His block sheds at 80, pursuits at 74, play recognition at 75. He just doesn't have coverage skills. He's got 81 hit power, 78 tackling. So he's going to be getting after the ball. So hopefully he shows up for this defense because you never know, man. This experiment might go bad. So we got to watch out for his position this season. The guy that we are probably most excited about any prospect that's coming onto our team, John Waters. He takes over. In, in minicamp, he kind of took the job from Kamara Rivera. He was showing flashes of, I don't even know, Honey Badger, Deion Sanders, Patrick Peterson. I mean, he was showing flashes of a straight lockdown corner. He is 5'11", 204. He's built. I mean, he's built like a running back, and that's why he did lead his whole state in rushing. So it's going to be quite the experience playing him on defense, knowing that if it comes down to it, he can also play some offense and he might get in on some plays. It might be trick plays. It might be end arounds. You never know. He's going to be all over the field. and He's even been returning some kicks. So he's going to be back there with Chad Ball. And you never know if he does good enough, he can possibly take that spot. But John Waters, Josh Dunbar going as a number one in two corners on this team. So it's going to be a fun season for those two. Probably the guy with the biggest chip on his shoulder, Paul Miller. Alex Brown is no longer the fastest guy on the team. Paul Miller comes in at 96 speed, 95 acceleration. He is going to be a terror on the back end of the defense. Nobody gets behind him without him getting in hand on them. But here's what is going to be funny is because he's coming back from an injury in junior college. He broke his left ankle, so he's going to wear an ankle brace throughout this season because that ankle might not fully be healed but he's taking a chance coming to Marquette after a disappointing season in junior college but Jay from T and J took a chance on him bringing him in on scholarship so we'll see how he does coming in with some experience but coming off an injury so we'll see NFL scouts are just drooling at the potential of Jamel Cooley. He is a Randy Moss clone, 6'4", 225. They're calling him not even Randy Moss. They're calling him the next Calvin Johnson. They're saying that he is going to be a monster, 89 speed, 94 excel, but he's got the catching ability. He checks off every single box. He is the true number one receiver that Marquette's been looking for. He's going to go up and get it. He's going to do the dirty work. He's going to block. He's going to be all over the field. Defenses don't even know what's going to come at them during the course of a game with Alex Brown running the ball, Jamel Cooley on the outside. What a season it's going to be for this Marquette team. Number 84 because he looks up to Randy Moss, but man, He's a different type of dude. He's smart. He can run routes. He can go up and get it. He can block. He can do it all. So this is going to be a great weapon for this offense. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. All these guys coming at you. Game one coming up next. Let's go. I'm excited. Season three is officially underway.